Hey everybody, this is Mon Retro Gamer. Let's play Pokemon Yellow episode 29. In the last episode, I asked for people's opinions on whether I should replace Choppa or Nidora with Aquos, my Squirtle. And from the entire one opinion I've received, Choppa's gone. Uh, you see, Tuber Daikon, or Nexia, made the excellent point that, um, Nidora can actually learn a fair load of moves, including ice types, which will be pretty invaluable in the future. So now we're going to um, continue on. We're going to go back through Diglett's Tunnel. I won't bore you with the actual travel, but we're going through Diglett's Tunnel again. This time we'll be able to see what's on the other side. And jump. Aquos is level 11. Aquos is level 12. And we're through Diglett's uh, tunnel. That took quite a while. Uh, so, and we've managed to get Aquos down to 3 HP. But uh, now, anyway, we need to cut. And we can go down further than we did the last time. I believe the man in lab code? Hi, remember me? I'm Professor Oak's aide. If you got ten kinds of Pokemon, I'm supposed to give you an HN05. So, Ash, have you caught at least ten kinds of Pokemon? Yes. Great, you have caught twenty-nine kinds of Pokemon! Congratulations! Does that mean I get 2.9 HMO5s? Here you go! I guess not. The HM Flash lights even the darkest dungeons. Yeah. Right. What's here? A HP up. Uh, hmm, okay, and down here is another Moonstone, so now we have two. Right, jump back up. <sighs> there we go, um, and that's pretty much it on this route, so we're gonna have to go back through Diglett's cave again to, um, just, yeah, we're just gonna go back through Diglett's cave. See you when I get back. Aquos is level 13. And I'm back. Wait, where's Sparky? Oh god, what, what happened in there? I'd better go heal. Right, I'm fully healed, and now we're going to uh, start getting the trainers on this route. Starting with you, young man. Let's go, but don't cheat. Now why would I cheat? Mr. One Pokeball. Good old replace the Pokemon for experience. Now it's Poison v. Poison. Who? Let's see. Can a Poison Pin beat the snake? Depends on how long the rap goes on for, really. This is what makes battles long and drawn out. Apparently, rap can continue for up to, uh, seven turns. Wait, fighting is weak to poison. Uh, scratch. Just use moves that don't have a not very effective problem. Come on. Almost there. No! <laughs> Nidora! In case you're wondering just why I have moonstones and I don't use them yet, um, really, I'm saving them until after the fourth gym because, again, I know what's coming up, and really, the one. Pokemon in my party. Oh, Aquos is level 14. Uh, but the one Pokemon in my party that could really use the Moonstone would become weak to Pokemon in the fourth gym. Huh? That's not right. Yes, it is. Were you listening to my real world conversation? Right. Right, just uh, heal there. Let's go around here and see what else. Here's a guy. Hello, sir. Would you like to feature in episode 29? I just became a trainer, but I think I can win. 
Really? I have three gym badges. What makes you say you can win? Oh, you've two Pokemon. My mistake. Wrong. Your mistake. Aqua still isn't able to really fight mano a mano, so I'll just let the level 20s pick up his slack, you know, until he becomes a war turtle and then gets up to level 20 himself, you know? None of this take one for the team stuff, just... Wow. Scratch. This thing's got a tough hide. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no. A sparky can't do now. Torture. Just torture will go out. Ember, really... Without the rock-type DNA, Ember actually does a fair bit of damage. See? Oh no, it scratched me. Oh no. Burn. Uh, Zubat. I will change Pokemon. Of course, water types are great against Zubats. Or no, wait. I was thinking about fire types. Oh, wait. Oh, now I'll send out Sparky. I don't think he knows that was for experience gaining. <sighs> Ow. Really? How did he not get injured from sucking life out of something that is permanently electrified? Really? Come on, Sparky. You're gonna be a stalwart. For the most part. And, yep, yeah, we've got that done. My Pokemon couldn't. No, they couldn't win. I'd say we can fit one more in. Um, I know there was one there. Is Yeah, there's one down here. Hello, sir. Win, lose, or draw? Uh, I'd rather win, please. If, if, if you could fix it so that you lose. Oh, you're a gambler. Poliwag. That is... That is definitely Sparky territory. Sparky, could you electrocute them for me? Now, please. Oof. Send it to sleep. I'll get back to you when Sparky wakes up, because we're coming... Oh, we're because we're coming close to the uh, time limit. He's back so, so many turns later. And now Poliwag is faster than him. Uh, but Thundershock still is working well. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to heal Sparky because one more hit and he could be going down. Yeah, pretty much one more hit would put him down. And Hypnosis. Again. And he woke up instantaneously. It's like, you're not doing that to me twice. Worse than Jigglypuff, you peed on my face last time! Right, now a horsey. And the old Aquos Sparky switcheroo. And we're coming in on the time. So. Now it comes just hoping animations don't go too slowly. And the horse is faster than me. Probably. Thundershock applications. And I win. And I do actually stay in under the time limit. And our horse is level 15. What a wonderful way to end. And he's learned water gun. Yay. And Sparky's level 21. <laughs> Loads of leveling at the end. So we've defeated the gambler. Acha! Didn't go my way. And with a lot of money gained, I say goodbye.